How did you get back here? My wife ran over to me and was like, there's a giant turtle in our backyard. Now what? My kids and I would just kind of watch her through the window. We could just let us stay there. We could call a zoo. She kind of like was rocking back and forth and she started to like wiggle her butt in to the mulch. My kids affectionately named Snippy. Come on, Snippy, you can do it. Just had her business to take care of and just wanted to kind of get that done and get on her way. At the time, I didn't know that's what she was doing. Yeah, congratulations. She had a really heavy rain last night. The next morning, I went out to assess how much damage it was going to be. All this debris came down and I saw these, what appeared to be ping pong balls. Oh my God, Snippy left her, her eggs here. And I was like, oh man, I got to protect these eggs. It was like a Horton moment, you know? Snappy, you think we have to like help them get out? Went on the internet immediately, got some sand and a ceramic heat lamp. We kept them to the side and just checked on them every day. With the amount of trauma of having the nest washed out, I really didn't have too much faith that, that anything was going to hatch. Then, three weeks to a month later, It's about to hatch! My daughter went out and she saw this little face sticking out of the sand. It was crazy. Watching them actually crack through that shell, use their arms and that, that little beak to kind of like come through. That was unreal. My kids too like getting to see that. Like they named every single one. My Charlotte. I mean not Charlotte, Charlie. Charlie is so chubby. Charlie? The first one that came out was uh, Snappy. Snappy is just moving with excitement, aren't you, Snappy? Lil Baggins. We had Sunshine and Detective Snippowitz. The cool thing about snapping turtles is when they hatch, they have this yolk sack that's attached to their bellies. That feeds them for the first couple of days. Once that is absorbed, they're basically, they're ready to go. And I guess that's why the mother lays the eggs and leaves. I called a reptile uh, sanctuary. She said, you know, if you hold on to them for, for too long, you may kind of be messing with, you know, their, their program. And now we're going to put them back into the flower pot, I guess, for the trip down to uh, the local pond different to the pond, you could see them kind of crawling around and they knew where they were and where they had to get. There you go, Bye, Baxter! To witness that instinct kicked in, that they'd finally gotten to where they belonged and they knew exactly where to go and how to do it, to have a little bit of a hand in, in helping nature along, it's amazing.